breastfeeding is best, but it doesn't always happen. Fortunately, modern moms have a straightforward plan B, infant formula. But it turns out infant formulas are not created equal. This is what a group of Australian researchers discovered when they tested the impact of various commercial infant formulas on sugar and insulin levels. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we explore the glycemic index of infant formula. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, to test out the glycemic index of a food requires a set amount of carbs be consumed, and this consumption is followed by multiple finger pricks. Ouch! Mm, a task few moms would sign Junior up for. However, it was something a few moms were willing to sign themselves up for. Now, since the aim of the study was to compare the different infant feeding formulations, the difference between adult and infant physiology would be relative. So the researchers took them up on the offer. On different occasions, these brave lactating moms sweaked down 25 grams of carbohydrate in the form of breast milk, it was their own, a lactose-based commercial infant formula, and pure glucose sugar. The data revealed breast milk and formula had pretty much the same glycemic index and insulinemic index. Yay! Moms using formula can rest easy. The plan B food was an excellent substitute for the real thing. But is it? The formula that was tested was chosen specifically because it closely matched breast milk, both in terms of the ratio of the different macronutrients as well as the type of carbohydrate used. Lactose is the carbohydrate in milk, all milk. But not all formulas use lactose. Now, sometimes this is their selling point because some little ones have trouble handling lactose. Oftentimes, it's just not mentioned. When lactose is not used, a quick squiz at the list of ingredients will reveal the carbohydrate source used in the formula. Possible sources include corn starch, corn syrup solids, malodextrins, and dextrose. So, what? Baby's getting the energy he or she needs, right? Well, curious, the team decided to test the glycemic and insulin index of some of these infant formulas. Once more, the subjects were adults, young, healthy, and lean. The results were quite different. These formulas were clearly spiking both sugar and insulin levels. One particular version took the insulin index from 80-something to over 200. Ouch! So, does it matter? Well, probably. High insulin levels are associated with greater weight gain in kids as well as adults. It's not pathological. It's physiology. Insulin's job is to put away the groceries, and milk is designed to be especially insulinogenic because growing baby big and strong is milk's job. The more insulin that is around, the more efficient the process. Up to a point. There are a lot of benefits to being efficient. In a world where calories are in short supply, the increased efficiency is beneficial. But this is not the situation for most humans living in the modern world. The efficiency becomes a liability, especially 
in the genetically more susceptible. If baby is lactose intolerant, you must go with lactose free. But this is a very, very rare phenomenon. When baby has problems, it's usually something else. Most times, it's actually a cow milk allergy. Even people destined to be lactose intolerant adults can still handle lactose up to the age of five years. So, if baby is not lactose intolerant, choosing a formula without lactose is not necessary and potentially harmful. The plasma insulin glucose concentrations will be significantly higher than nature intended. This difference can have an impact on metabolic programming, the effects of which could last a lifetime. Choose a lactose-based infant formula when possible. So you create better body chemistry for your little one. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is switching to formula? Share this video with them so they choose the best formula for their little one. And if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.